What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I have uh, my Camaro SS1 Elite and today we're gonna install long tube headers, one and seven eighths to uh, three inch and I got them from uh, the Extreme Online store. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can check out their website and the eBay. If you have any Corvettes, Camaros, Chargers, uh, ATSV, CTSV, and I think even Super Nows, uh, they have all kinds of like parts for the cars now so you can go check out their website so i'm going to bring you along on my installation step by step as much as i can and uh once we have them all on we'll make some some noise making some sound clips and see how it sounds yeah let's jump right into it So first things first, we'll disconnect the battery trunk. Gonna open up here. It's right there. 10 millimeter. Disconnect the battery. All right. So to make some room on the driver's side, we're gonna take the air box out. That's uh, seven millimeter here. Disconnect the mask. Clip in the back. Once the clip is out, you pull out. There's a clip that holds it here to the box. Pull it out like this. Unplug the box here. And this is just in here in a little rubber grommet. So you just pull up and kind of angle it out like so. Take off the brake booster line, push in. This cap has two bolts, comes out with a uh, T30s. I'm gonna remove the shield. So I can make some room to disconnect the spark plug wires and then take the spark plugs out. And for that, I use a 10 millimeter. You. Now for the spark plug wires, we just kind of pull here out and then twist on the bottom and pull out. It's supposed to feel them get loose. And you pull out. All right, so now we have space and access all the bolts as you can see one two three four and five so we're going to loosen them up a little bit just break them loose and then we're going to move on to the other side to loosen everything before we go under all right now we loosen up all the bolts with the 13 millimeter these are only 22 pounds so these should be pretty easy, fairly easy to break all right, so this side's all good. Uh, the five bolts are loosened up and there's plenty of room. So when I loosen up the bottom, I can take them out. Now we're gonna go on to this side. We're gonna empty the coolant reservoir, unplug here, unplug over there, uh, remove here, unplug here and here, make some room and uh, try to see if uh, we can loosen up the header on this side. So then we can go under and do the same, loosen it up. So let's get to it. Ten millimeter here. And we 
got to remove the one in the back. Clip, which is why you're here. Kind of bracket that you're gonna loosen up in a minute. So you remove this. There's another clip right here. Right next to each other, go into this bracket. So you're gonna loosen up. I remove this line out of the way, the EVAP. Let's just push in and out. This comes out of the way. You have to do the two T30s over here too to remove this cap and we can loosen this and get it out of the way. Now we're gonna take off this bolt right there. It holds this bracket and that's a 15 millimeter. This is the bracket. So it has clips here, 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 and the bolt goes here. Recommendation, remove all the clips before removing that bolt so it's easier. Now, before removing the oil disc stick, screw right here that loosens this up so I can pull it out when I pull out the headers. I'm gonna lift the car. So we'll leave that to last after the car is up in the air. But right now we're going to Loosen up those cover bolts, that one, that one, that one. So I can take that cover off and then I can remove the spark plug wires and then I'll remove all the spark plugs. Try to get all these spark plug wires out. Pull it down and twist. Two. Four. I only had one bolt left, so I took it out. Take the lower cover off if I can bring it up. It's a weird angle, but we'll see. It's the bottom shield for the passenger side. Let's loosen up the header bolts. They're easier to take off once I have the car up in the air. Let's get some uh, spark plugs out now. All right, so everything is out of the way. Everything is loose. The five bolts are loose on this side. Everything is out of the way here too. Five bolts loose. I haven't taken the head cover off yet. I'm gonna go under, I'm gonna loose everything up. 
and see if I can get it out before touching that. So we'll see. And again, the the dipstick screw is still on. I don't want to loosen this up because I'm about to raise the car up and it's going to go up in different angles. And I've heard that when that's loose, um, oil comes out of the bottom where the little hole where the dipstick goes in. So I'm going to leave that on tight so I can raise the whole car up and uh, loosen up everything on the bottom. And when I'm ready to take it off, then I'll loosen up that bolt because that header comes out with the dipsticks together. So that way I don't make a mess. All right, so we're on there and we're gonna loosen up all the O2 sensors. So we don't have to do it after it's, uh, it's out and it's hard because this is not stale. You're gonna have to hold on to it. So we're gonna lose one. You can see the other one there too. The Y band three and then four. And the other one's right back there. You can see it, barely see it right there. Five, we're gonna loosen all those up. And then we're gonna follow the cables, if you can see, and unclip them all. So when we get them out, we can take them off the pipe and number them. So when we put the other one back on. And also right after we're gonna loosen, you know, the here, these two, these are all 15s. These here are the bracket that hold the cats together. Those are 13s and then if you look under, there's four bolts. There's one, two, three, and then four up top right there. Those are 15 too. So we're gonna take all those off. So the rear O2 sensor is gray and the forward is black. All right, so now I'm gonna disconnect the drive shaft. See, is one bolt there and one bolt there. So 11 millimeter. All right, so everything is loosened up in the bottom. Now we're just gonna take off the five bolts and pull up. On this side, one of the bolts to the cats, I couldn't get to because of the bend where the catalytic converter is. So I'm gonna see if I can take these five bolts out and uh, kind of shake it out and bring the whole thing up. If not, I'm gonna have to figure that out. And then this side will unbolt and uh, take the screw for the dipstick and uh, see if we can pull it all up or down. Doesn't matter, we'll see. Got the driver's side out. Came out super easy. Now, on to the passenger side. I'm gonna take this stick bolt out. It's probably a T30, the same as the covers. And uh, remove all five bolts and uh, see if we can pull it out from the top or the bottom.
lot of patience. You can get around everything. Don't forget the oil this stick, which I'm most likely gonna leave there. Now before feeding the head around this side, you have to remember that this right here, you need to fix it so it's closer to this edge so it doesn't burn with the header, doesn't get close to the header. So we're gonna move it around and zip tie it there a little bit better. All right, the headers came in through the bottom. Just little by little turning and figured it out. They went in, now I got the Oil stick here, so I have to kind of grab them. It's definitely a two man job if somebody can hold the headers in the bottom. This is not gonna be fun. Once I got the top all done, I went underneath and I put the bracket underneath the car all back together. I had to get it out. It's uh, 15 millimeter bolts and then some smaller bolts like seven millimeter that hold the plastic covers. Um, by taking this down, it was easier to get the headers through the bottom without having to mess with the starter or the starter cover or take any of the head covers out. Both headers went in, just taking my time under by taking this bracket out it is all done if you can see there is the steering column back together the header is all the way up in there connected the o2 extension o2 is right there Oh, nice, O2's right there. I use metal to hold these two together because it has to go to the exhaust shop to put it all back together, but the car's all pulled back together and we can see this is, this is what was here from stock. But they look pretty good. We gotta go up top now and finish up everything. All right, now I'm gonna put the spark plugs. I'm gonna check that they're all pre-gap to stock 40. And uh, I'm gonna put some of this in the boots. After we put the spark plug, put the boots in. I'm gonna put these sleeves on the boots. Let's get to it.
Alright, spark plugs are all in with the wires. Got a little bit of this on each. This side and this side. Let's keep on putting the covers and plugging everything back and the uh, airbox. All right, so everything's kind of back together. The only thing I'm missing is the covers, the black covers. I'm not gonna put them on yet because I'm gonna start the car and I'm gonna check everything, make sure everything is good. Kind of everything is plugged back in. Then we're good, time to let it rip. All right, so there you have it. The Camaro is done and it sounds really, really good. I've been driving it for a little bit already and it's a little bit loud, but sounds really good. Drone is almost non-existent and I had my brother drive it the other day and I heard it from the outside. I heard some downshifts, some drive-by, some kind of get and go, some idling and the exhaust sounds deep and it sounds really, really good. If you follow through the whole process, you saw it's not hard at all takes time you got to have the right tools and the only part where i had an issue was for that one bolt that's right uh close to the catalytic converter and the turn but once i loosened up that side header and i brought it down i had better access to get it out and the other part was where i took that bottom frame down so i can get both headers through the bottom without taking no head covers off or messing with the starter so all in all the install was pretty good if you know what you're doing if not take it to exhaust shop so i got the headers on i took the car to tyler's shop eyes cold air auto and muffler and uh, he hooked it up we put it with v bands in the bottom because it's easier to take on and off so even with the plate that the headers bring that has four holes when you get it done you can take it to exhaust shop they should have the connection for that or they can convert it to whatever you want it i wanted v bands and that's what I went with. The exhaust system is complete. So now 
we complete the tuning we put on the dyno see the difference with the headers and we'll take it to the track have some fun with it turn on the flex sensor throw some 85 in it tune it take it to the dyno take it to the track have some more fun with it and then just continue on so if you like the headers you want to get a set for yourself i put the link in the description for their website extreme online store and their ebay page so you can check it out if you want to set for yourself or you have any other card that they might have items for just click on that link and check out see what they have once again i want to thank extreme online store for hooking it up with a set of headers the car sounds awesome and for the next video i will record some more cold starts some drive-bys we'll put the microphone in the back we'll listen to the exhaust and we'll get all kinds of exhaust notes that we can compare to the previous setup and see the difference in tones and loudness or whatnot. So you guys can enjoy it. So that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for what's coming up next, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments or if I miss anything, okay? Peace.